Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Tuesday the 13th of October. We begin with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Gracious God, when life is testing and your purpose is hard to fathom, help us to remember that you are able to see us through. When we feel overwhelmed by the challenges before us, yet see nowhere and no one to turn to, Remind us to reach out to you, knowing that whenever we need you, you will be there. Teach us that, with you, no situation is beyond hope, and that no darkness can ever fully extinguish the light, and that, in confidence, we may walk each day in faith to the glory of your name. Amen. Hebrews chapter 5 Every high priest is selected from among the people and is appointed to represent the people in matters related to God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal gently with those who are ignorant and are going astray, since he himself is subject to weakness. This is why he has to offer sacrifices for his own sins as well as for the sins of the people. And no one takes this honor on himself, but he receives it when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, Christ did not take on himself the glory of becoming a high priest, but God said to him, You are my son. Today I have become your father. And he says in another place, You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death, and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Son though he was, he learned obedience from what he suffered, and once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him and was designated by God to be high priest in the order of Melchizedek.
Psalm 143 Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. In your faithfulness and righteousness, come to my relief. Do not bring your servant into judgment, for no one living is righteous before you. The enemy pursues me. He crushes me to the ground. He makes me dwell in the darkness like those long dead. So my spirit grows faint within me. My heart within me is dismayed. I remember the days of long ago. I meditate on all your works and consider what your hands have done. I spread out my hands to you. I thirst for you like a parched land. Answer me quickly, Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, or I will be like those who go down to the pit. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we talk about belonging to you and offering you our service, but so often reality falls short of the ideal. Instead of making you an integral part of our lives, we treat you as an optional extra, there to turn to as in when it suits us. Instead of working for your kingdom, we strive solely to serve our own interests. Instead of involving ourselves in the life of your people, we stay on the fringes, reluctant to commit ourselves wholly to your cause. Our deeds deny your words, our lives betray our lack of faith. Forgive us and save us from confusing normal Christianity with living discipleship. Teach us what it means to belong to you and to be part of your church. And so may we serve you as you desire, to the glory of your name. Amen. <laughs>